Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Replicant Fish. You know, everybody loves his channel. Everybody loves the, me doing reviews on his channel. I try to do one or two a week or so. And um, strong and independent women. They're sold a lie. But always ends up being a victim somehow. You know, they're becoming strong and independent. It's, it's society's fault and whatever's fault that they have to be strong and independent so they can't relinquish, you know, leadership to a man because they were strong and independent their whole time. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to that ciao. It's ciao time. Independent women were sold a lie. Because men don't want them. And it's not that no man wants an independent woman. No, that's ridiculous. But a lot of independent women get in their own way. I don't need a man. Therefore, they become unattractive to a lot of men. They become attra unattractive to the men that they really, truly want. You know, the one that's going to fully take care of everything. There's ones that are well off enough to give them all they want. They don't care for strong, independent women. They want someone that's a little bit more cooperative, nice. You know, willing to work with them, which strong and independent women are usually not like willing to. Can we talk about how much of a disadvantage that independent women are at? Because it's seen as an unattractive trait, but a lot of times we are independent because we've had to be. Go on. And I know there's all these people who are like, this is what modern day feminism has done to women. And in some cases, yes, but in most cases, it's because we've had to be. Acknowledged. Agreed. A lot of women have had to become independent because historically, women that have had to depend on men, they haven't fared too well, have they? You have me. Yeah, because they're all horrible housewives. They got abused and, you know, were divorced for younger women right away. That's kind of the narrative they always want to push. Nothing. I have nothing. A man could leave her, divorce her, and she ends up with nothing. You get nothing in modern times a lot of young women grow up in bad situations where where they have to become independent otherwise they wouldn't have a life so mm -hmm. agreed yeah. yeah however what turns a lot of men off is the attitude that comes with a lot of independent women the exactly. reality is a lot of men don't even care a lot of men like i don't even give a damn woman no i mean for them to be independent it's normal it's a normal being of adulthood to take care of your own bills to have your own car to have your own apartment or a place to stay and that you're taking care of yourself that's a normal adult thing but women always want to use that as some kind of um a plus for them as like it was like oh they want to be praised and loved and uh you know uh sought after because they're able to do normal adult things when men have been doing this all of their lives, we don't tell women, oh, I'm strong and independent. Yeah, I pay my own bills. But women love to push this on men. And men are just like, why do we care? You expect me to pay for majority of the things anyways. But women love to shove that in our face, that they're strong and independent. And men are just like, that's normal adult shit. Why should I even like praise you for this? Why do you think you deserve me more than any other woman? Because most women, most men are doing what you're saying you're doing. One cares. However, the attitude that comes along with a woman being free and independent, yeah, that's what makes a lot of women very unattractive. The yep. Egg. <laughs> she has her own, indeed, but she also has a disgusting attitude. And we don't want to be. I think I speak for most women when I say women want to be taken care of. Oh. A lot of us struggle to release control and allow somebody to take care of us because we don't have a safety net. Compared to girls who grew up being taken care of and are spoiled, that is the norm for them. So it is incredibly easy to release control because they've always released control. And in those cases, it cases it's now you're just shaming women that are a little bit more cooperative and nice as they grew up and you know understood the difference between men and women. Now you're kind of shaming them because they had privilege over you to not to not have to be able to relinquish these powers or this independentness especially those women typically have a safety net so even if things go haywire there's no fear attached to it because there will always be a safety net i think all women have a safety net it's called only fans and uh prostitution 
And there you go. Because of how a lot of women have had to grow up to become independent women, they don't know how to relinquish control. Give control to a man. Let a man be dominant. Now, even in modern times, it doesn't matter what women say. By nature, a man likes to have some dominance in his relationship. True. I'm the man. If not all, at least some, at least some. But because independent women have been taught or have taught themselves that they don't need a man to never give up power, to never give a man room, any man they meet, if he has any ounce of traditionalism in him, it's going to turn him off. Therefore, she's going to become unattractive. Now understand this, men who have dated or tried to date independent women before in the past, Bruh. what sort of dark magic is this? They may have been scarred and burnt by these independent women. Therefore, going forward, nah. Nah. Nope. She's going to be more of the same. She has everything she wants, yes. But she lacks so much. Lacks so much. We have a safety net. So even if things go haywire, there's no fear attached to it because there will always be a safety net. But when you have had to be hyper independent because you feel well, hyper independent now, now you're just adding adjectives into something that doesn't even need this adjective. Like, you're, if you're independent, you're independent. What is this hyper-independence? Found yourself in a situation where you were in survival mode, and in the years following, you created a sense of security for yourself. Security. 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 It is not easy to trust that somebody will maintain that security for you. So women who have won have had no choice but to be independent because of the hands where they were dealt, plus ones who have tried to trust and were fucked as a result of it will not know how to let somebody take care of them and for women like me like i don't want somebody who balances out my masculinity by being the feminine one in the relationship and depending on me like i don't want to wear the pants i am only attracted to alpha men okay she does not You're contradicting yourself you're only attracted to alpha men that are more masculine than you, but yet you are strong and independent and you can't seem to relinquish the power to these alpha men. Why are you attracted to these men then if you can't even give them up that power? It doesn't even make sense. Want to wear the pants. Very sassy. She does want to give up control to a man. However, she fears doing so. But this is why a lot of independent women are unattractive. Yep. Men do like to have some form of control and power. You can't claim you want an alpha man. I don't even use those damn terms. Yeah, same. Fuck off. You can't claim to want an alpha man, but not be willing to relinquish your power you have as an independent woman. That's exactly what I said. That is bullshit. You have to let it go. You have to let it go and let a man be a man. But in this modern world of feminism, hyper-feminism, hyper women are told to not let a man have so much power in your life. If he does, he'll, he could possibly destroy you. Indeed, he could. But that is the risk that comes with dating. More traditional women will give up control because they understand to give a man space so that he can grow and blossom and fill out the parts of her life that aren't being fulfilled by not having a man. Yeah. But to a degree, it feels as if independent women want to, I don't know, tie down and clip a man's wings so that he can't stand up tall and spread his wings and just be the man in her life. So therefore, as a man, that feels so unattractive. It feels like a turn off. It feels like death. It feels like a woman wants to neuter you rather than let you grow, rather than mm -hmm. let you be the man she claims she wants. Are so much more masculine than me that it makes my masculinity look like a pussy. It completely shuts it off. But the issue is that one, most men so we have to be so masculine that we shut your masculinity off but what if i told you i was so feminine and then i need you then i need your femininity to make my femininity go away so i can be masculine how does that sound to you does that sound stupid yes because it's fucking stupid don't know how to be that kind of masculine man that's in control in a respectable way and two, the ones who are, again, typically don't want to deal with women who don't know how to release control because I don't want to teach somebody how to be in control, just like they don't want to teach somebody how to be out of control. You're crazy girl. And don't get me wrong, I'm somebody who has <laughs> always been pretty independent, but I became hyper independent, especially financially, when I found myself in a situation where I was in survival mode and I had no choice but to fend for myself. This is what men have not had to do all their lives, but yet they're able to relinquish things to women. You know, women are able to still take care of things for men 
and we don't say like oh i'm too hyper independent so you know it's hard for me to have a woman take care of me or want to do things for me because i'm too hyper independent get the fuck out of here you know a sad part of this is the fake fantasy tropes that a lot of men and women grew up with women the damsel in distress you know <laughs> princess needing a savior to come along and save her that a lot of people have grown up and realized is absolute bs proper bullshit and men men told to be the prince charming saviors yeah. saving the damsels in distress a lot of men have realized that's bullshit as well mm -hmm. however however to a degree for as bs as they are it's weird how sometimes it comes down to that simplicity that sometimes a woman needs to be a damsel for a man to come along and i don't know save her did you really just say that for as disgusting as that sounds but sometimes a woman does need to be in a position where she can be helped where a man wants to help her a man wants to a man wants to mold her to a degree disgusting now some would say that's why men date younger women and to a degree yeah it is yeah it is a woman that's too far gone she'll have to go against everything she's known and learnt and experienced in her life to become the woman you want her to be where yeah. Yeah, I've dated women in their 30s or mid 30s and God, everything I say, everything I do, they always want to rail against and it's tiring. It's just tiring. After one date of that, I, I usually just end things and, you know, they're like, oh, but I had a good time. Why, why don't we see you? Because you question everything I say and do. Why, why would I want to deal with someone like this? Whereas some younger women, there's time. There's time to show her that you don't have to be this hard. You can be independent, but you don't have to be this hard, tough, chewy woman. Love me tastes like shit! And then wonder why <laughs> men find it difficult to love you. Mm. Just saying. So all that's to say, in many, 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 many cases, probably most cases, independent women are independent because we had to be. And we don't know how to be otherwise. And in many cases, independent women are attractive, but a lot of men know they will lose so much in trying to be with an independent woman. They have to stop being men. Security! Have a nice day. Yeah, the delusional chow women really think that men care about them not being that them being independent and then not being able to be submissive what should we care we had to learn to be masculine no matter what right we had to still take care of bills do all these things protect and all that stuff no one's giving us any past oh you know what i grew a blue pilled and I'm, I'm a little feminine you know i need a, i need a woman that's super feminine to, to make me super masculine it's just the, the thought process is so stupid that I can't even, you know, like wrap my head around it sometimes. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it and catch you guys next time. Ciao.